Hi and welcome to Valley Honda. My name's Ben. Love to welcome you on a walk around video on our 2020 Honda Civic VTIL that we have here. On this walk around, this is a brand new vehicle, but I will pinpoint any marks or scratches on the vehicle, but also some of the identical features that make the car so attractive. So starting on the left hand side, you do get 17 inch alloy wheels, which are a five spoke with the nice insert through the alloy. They're a machine finish with Yokohama tires on there as well. You do have the nice trimming through inside there. Park is just on the side, as well as this fantastic grille through the front. Projector headlights with daytime running lights through here. They are projectors, so they boost the headlights forward. Piano black finish through the front here, and accents around the vehicle here. Fog lights at the front with your front park sensors. There is a plastic trim under here to protect the car when you are parking it. Piano black finish through here with the iconic Honda grille. Now you do get a soft rubber mold that goes through here to work on keeping that sound down in the car. So it is very quiet when you're driving it. Some really nice style through the bonnet, as you can see. And down through the side, it matches in with the park on the side. 7 inch alloy wheel on this side, you okay my tire. And you do get the side skirt that marries in really nicely into the guard. Down through the side, being a VDIL, you get the lane watch camera. So when you put the indicator on, you do have a camera that comes up in here. You do get LED indicator with a color-coded mirror. Really nice style through the side of the car. You do have your keyless entry, which is just push a button that unlocks the car. Privacy tint is standard on this vehicle, and you do get the chrome trim that goes up. And as you can see, all the trimming, even over the roof here, gives you a really nice shape of the car. Left hand side is the, indic the, the uh, fuel filler, and you do get clear lensed uh, tail lights, which wrap really nicely into the tail, into the quarter panel, which also can hold that line all the way through. Down through here, you get carpet trimming or marine soil carpet trimming underneath the wheel arch to help with that sound detonator with matching alloy wheels. Coming through inside the car, you get a satin silver finish through here and door handle. Tweeters up the top with your lower speaker, and you do get your door handle, a door drink holder storage down here as well. All soft touch as well. Unlock and lock button, and you got your full electrics. Coming through inside, you got a soft touch dash as well, which has got some really nice style with a leather styled around here. Really large console as well. Being a new car, it'll be registered as you as the first owner. As you can see, dark black hood lining as well, which makes it feel really sporty inside the car. This sports trim inside, which is really thick and supportive as well. So there's a lot of support for the driver and passenger. And you do have a power socket just over here and storage through the middle bit. Coming into the back of the car, same thing, you get the satin finish through here, tweeted in the back, so you get two speakers in the back as well. Door handle and electric windows. It's all soft touch. And as you can see, nothing can fall down through the side. Plenty of leg room as well. And really nice sportive, supportive seats in here. With twin cup holders as well. Also fixed child restraints. And as you can see through inside, the car is absolutely beautiful. Coming around into the back here, you get a sports spoiler through here. But you also get one up the top as well. That privacy tint looks so much nicer than having the car tinted because it all marries into the one rear wiper as well with the shark fin as well for the back there you get the VTEC turbo badge on the back here civic logo but it gives you a really sporty rear bumper bar so you got the piano black inserts here lower trim which will protect the car as well piano black follows it through the car so it goes right around it with your park sensors button just under here to open the boot Cargo cover is standard, so really easy to, to open up. And you can actually remove this whole item out if you want to take it out. Two child restraints just across the back and one in the middle there. And you do have your space saver spare in the back here. But this boot is deep. It is a huge boot they run. And that will allow people not to see inside the back of the car. Down through the side, same as on the other side, really nice power rectics on the car. Going through the driver's side, you get full electric windows, auto front as well. 
plenty of support through the driver's seat with bo able to boost it up and adjust the back on here. Just coming inside, you've got all your mirror adjustments here. You can actually fold the mirrors in as well. Unlock and lock, and you can lock the rear windows. Down through here, you've got lane departure warning, collision cross, and you've also got your park sensors and stability control as well. Just to start it up, just press the start button here. Starts up really easily. You can turn the lane departure warning off if you wish as well. So, a couple of things on there is you've got adaptive cruise control just here so really easy to use so you set your cruise control or you do turn it on and then you can set it where you want it and you can adjust it from the car in front just in here you've got auto lights fog lights as well in your indicator it has one touch indicator so you tap it it will flash three times fuels just on this side you've got a fantastic taco through the middle really easy to display with lighting up the top and it does tell you the exact speed you're on as you can see this car is brand new it's done 21 kilometers and just on the other side, you've got your temperature as well. In the middle, it'll tell you average fuel. The average fuel won't be correct on this current screen. The car uses a combined of 6.1 litres per 100 k's. Um, it's only just because it's brand new, it hasn't been able to learn and know what the uh, the fuel usage is. So, and it also will tell you distance to empty. Just on this side, Honda's changed a few things on this model, so you can override on here. Um, where you can put the volume up and so forth before you run your finger over it. Where well, this is much easier and simple to use. They've also added the volume button back as well. Info button, you can change the info which comes up in the middle here. So you can change what you would like to have displayed. Voice control, Bluetooth as well. Um, you can enter and this changes through for the radio. You've got your wipers just on here with a rear wiper as well. It is full in a minute. Coming through to the infotainment system, this has got Apple CarPlay, Android Audio, comparable, compatible. So you've got your reverse camera, which you can change different models as well. So you can have different modes of where the camera comes up. You can use the satellite navigation off your mobile phone, which works on here, which is through the smart connectivity. It really easy to change by just sliding across. You've got your audio and you can always go back. It's a really easy one to use as well. So you can use different things, um, but normally you just have the radio up and you can change different ones. You, there's a button hidden here, so you can actually dial down or turn the screen off so you can change all the brightness. Through here's all your climate control, really easy to use and it will adjust up the top. So when you can see me changing it, it'll adjust there. You can push for auto and you can change it and override it if you wish. You can have the air circling inside, outside, Rear to mister, front to mister, and if you press the climate button, it will come up on the screen as well. So you can override it and change where you want it to come from. Further on to down here, you've got plenty of storage here with a hole through the bottom here. So you can actually put your cords and so forth hidden underneath. So they're tucked out nicely out of the way. Really nice short shift automatic. So you've got drive, uh, park, reverse, neutral drive, and then you've got your sports button and low. So. The other thing is you've got park brake hold, so that will mean, not park brake, but park hold. So what that means if you're on a hill, press that, it will stop that roll away effect. Handbrake just on here, which is electronic, and you also have the eco button through here. Fob key as well, which is all keyless entry. Keys hidden inside it too. Two drink holders, which are huge, and you can actually remove this one out if you wish not to uh, have one in there and you want this storage instead. Large center console with full adjustment through here, which is all soft touch, but everything's all user friendly and in really good use as well. So that concludes pretty much what this car covers. It's got side airbag, standard stability control. You've got plenty of lighting throughout, but they are really well appointed. Now, one thing before I go, I apologize, I didn't mention it, is the lane watch. So when you put the indicator onto the left-hand side, it will flash up here and it will tell you what your car is closest to you as well. So it is handy to have, especially when you're changing lanes and you can't see into your blind spot, you can actually see what's beside you. So that concludes our video walk around on our Civic. Feel free to give us a call on 5173 3888. That's 5173 3888. My name's Ben. Thank you.